20. The person you were kissing wasn't me. Good morning and Merry Christmas. I'm up. I bought down all of Trevor's gifts, and I got a cup of um one of those hot chocolate balls. So I'm gonna go through text messages. Wish some people Merry Christmas and wait for him to wake up. I'm gonna write in my gratitude journal everything I'm thankful for because we are truly blessed. Hey, Maku just woke up and it looks like Santa Claus came. All right, Trevor, let's open gifts. Merry Christmas. about his gifts. It's the final day of the advent calendar. Day 25. Day 25. What is it? Cash. Cash is king. Good Monday morning, the day after Christmas. I am at home, but I feel like cleaning up. So I started a little bit upstairs yesterday created a big mess and now I'm downstairs so let me get my morning let me get my morning drinks together Trevor go with the dishwasher let me get organized I want to make me some water um, I'm increasing my water and then uh, maybe a matcha you know to get me moving grooving and then where let's clean the back room yeah, let me get my thoughts together. I'll come back, get back on camera, be organized and prepared and ready. I hope you had a wonderful Christmas. Seriously, it's not even about the gifts. It's about the feeling. If you achieve that feeling, that happy feeling of giving. So I just made a coffee and lemon black. Um, I had a vanilla for sh flavoring. Concoction to detox from all the Christmas food I ate. So... I know everybody talk about this beginning of the year, New Year's resolution, lose weight, but it's time to start over, uh, refresh, regroup, uh, yeah, and um, get that stomach flat is my goal. And then I just um, drank an entire cup of water, so get my bowels moving, detoxing. I did my face. All right, I just started a movie on Prime. And now I'm gonna start with this outer room. I wouldn't mind bringing my exercise bike in here, but I'm not gonna do too much. So, one thing at a time. So at work, remember I showed you when I walked into the cafeteria, we had a, we have a box of freebies. So I grabbed all these, and now uh, I'm gonna keep the ones I want. I grabbed two probably of everything, and then the rest I would just put on Amazon. Okay, so I scanned the Q codes of each one of these on the back and they were not already found on Amazon. So that means I would have to take pictures, create product descriptions. It's a whole lot easier if they're already being sold on Amazon. And then it's a catch 22. So I don't really have time to create all that and take nice photos, but yet it would be nice to add to Amazon because they're not being sold and someone, you know, who's looking for this would be able to buy it on Amazon. So, okay, hours later. I have reads on this, Amazon. Look how empty it is. Empty, 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 empty. So, I don't even know what to do next, but I'm gonna eat something. Okay, so I made grilled cheese, added some jelly. Inside I did an egg and bacon. It's, I put too much butter, but it's so good. So I took down the Christmas decorations from the windows and I cleaned the windows and scraped off all the leftover tape. Let me cut this down, let me start over. All right, so I take, I've taken down the Christmas lights from the windows and took the tape off, scrubbed it with alcohol and got all that uh, adhesive residue off on both windows. You guys saw the cabinet is clean. I'm debating if I want to put up Valentine's Day hearts now. Oh, I didn't get that tape off of those. Let me do that right now. We made it to Trader Joe's. Come on. 
It's not too crowded. Here we go. Orange chicken. Orange chicken. Hash browns. Orange chicken. Hash browns. You did create a kill. Like this list thing is like. Oh, wow. I feel like. Made it to Dee Dee's. Because me and my mom think they're going to have Christmas stuff. But as you can see, all the Christmas tables are empty and everything's gone. So I'm just going to go through sweaters and see. I think I like that one. You get point setters. Let me see. Seven, three. Oh, that's not bad. Okay, that's everything. All right, guys, we just left Dee Dee's. Me show ya. Okay, got some washing towels to wash. One pair of boots. They're only thirteen dollars. Um. An ear vacuum for Trevor's ears, they're really clogged up. We got chocolate! Okay, I'll make that one right now. And oh, most of this stuff is Christmas. So all of this right here is Christmas and it was all marked down. So you can go in the back. Glitter is everywhere in the car. Hundred bucks. Honestly, that's not bad for us because we do damage in DDs, so back at the house. Let me show you what I got from DDs. Or maybe not. I don't know. I'm gonna kinda get organized. Finish all these different projects I've started. <laughs> but yeah, let me do that. Be back. Alright, how do you like this sweater? It's like gather and hopefully it'll meet like the top of your pants. I thought it was so cool. Cutesy. For winter, right? Okay. I have a vest, sweater vest. Then I grabbed these boots and they're brown. And they were suede and I thought they were really cool. I'm not sure. And I got several vests that I'm trying to collect and do a week of vests. But here it is. Okay. Here's another shirt. I don't know what this shirt is doing and it's all see through. I think it's a cover up with patches. But we're going to try it. And I'll, I'll make it fashion. Okay, this is like a see-through red situation. I was thinking for New Year's, if we go anywhere or do anything. And I got on a sports bra, so I pick it up. But it's kind of dressy. And it's different. Okay, so this is the North American Wellness Cordless Ear Vac. I'm going to try it on Trevor. Ear wax remover. He always has tons of stuff in his ear. So, X Clean and Fresh Face Body Soap. It was two bucks. Of course, I bought the Ford Mustang deodorant body spray just because I drive a Mustang. <laughs> this one's for me. I got that one from my mom. Okay, guys. Here is the Jones. <clears throat> it smells good. And I love anything vanilla. Okay, so this one here is Gucci Absolute, the replica. Uh, let me put a picture on the screen and it smells just like it. Okay, guys. Here is the ear vacuum. I put the little tip thing on. We are back in the car trying to find air to put in the tire, but I think it you need quarters. I have no idea. So we gotta get this done because I think the temperature's gonna drop tea. I don't remember what's the weather. I'm making stuff up now. I'm just aggravated, maybe. You know I had to pull out the camera because I've cleared the whole floor. And please don't. I don't know if that's dirt. All right, I'll scrub it and vacuum. But look, guys, I am cleaning. We're gonna have a photo video room soon. And I'm sorry I didn't pick up the camera this morning. I end up talking to Robert. Robert is a new friend I met on Bumble. And it was such an easy, casual conversation. Um, random, right? Anywho, Amazon store is ready. I'm getting rid of that in the garage. That's pack up Christmas. I just wanted to say things are looking amazing. Happy Tuesday. Let's get ready for New Year's. All right, guys. I had a creative idea, and I went with it. What do you think? I took those old crate and barrel or I forgot where I got them from. Extra tall curtains that I was gonna hang eventually. And I made backdrops. I'm not sure where I'm going with this, 
but I'm gonna let them hang from now and get the wrinkles out. So stay with me. Oh, on wow. This. So where do we go now? Forget, but like yeah. here. Still trying to figure out what my tire pressure should be. And I think I'm just gonna Google it because it's still on and we don't We're know. Back at going. home and the garbage people are finally here. Thank goodness. And I'll be, I'm gonna get dressed and take the car to Firestone because I can't figure it out, so. Oh my God, it's full. Trash is going everywhere, it's so full. This is our third attempt to get air in the tires. I'm now gonna go to the professionals. So I got dressed. It's supposed to smell good, so I won't be so smelly. <laughs> Let's go try it. All right, guys, he told me to pull up to the first bay door and he'll come out and help me, so thank God. Hey, guys, he's putting the air in now and it's changing. You can see him through the mirror. All right, guys, he did it. Perfect. And then all of them have changed. Guys, we have air in the tires. All right, I sped off. I did everything and it looks really, it's rolling different. I feel more confident. I feel more confident driving when the tires are safe, you know. Thank you, God. All right, I want to stop by. I want to buy some a bra. Hopefully, like they get like an after Christmas. Um, just come with me shopping. We're gonna get some bras for next year to lift the girls. Hmm. All right, I made it to my mar, and um, I'm gonna look for the bra. The store is actually kind of empty. But there. I grabbed the bra from Bon Mar. Everything was nice. I'm going to head out of here. I looked through some of the old Christmas stuff, but I didn't really have anything like I had to have. So, yeah, I think I'm going to head on it. It feels 50% off. Wow. All right, guys, I'm back in the car from Bon Mar. I don't even know what I bought, but we are going to get ready to head home. I'm liking this Balenciaga hat. I mean, like, what do you guys think of it? My sister got it for me. I don't have to comb my hair. So, it looks good, but anywho. <sighs> Let's go home. We have work tomorrow, guys. Back to reality. Back to life. Back to reality. Alright, Back home. Let me get those clothes out the dryer. Get them in there and then I'll show you what I got. All right, so here are the bras. Um, I think I buy bras twice a year. How about that one? Sexy and cute. I bought some Spanx panties. That one. And then I bought green. So they're all different colors. This one feels flimsy. One was 17, one was 30, and one, 30, one was 35, I think. Not sure, but this one is a t-shirt bra, so I'm going to wear my sweaters. This one's a sexy, and this one is definitely work. <laughs> we are back home from work. Uh, it was, it wasn't a bad day. Worked on some emails. I packed the boxes for the prices right. We had two winners, so they're getting brand new sewing machines. I grabbed Trevor some Arby's. He's at home, and he's opening up a gift that came in the mail. So let's see what it is. Mm. Mm. Those are some nice pins. Good morning. Happy Thursday, guys. Everyone, YouTube world. I'm working from home today, but I feel like building a gym. Let's go build a gym. I gotta follow my intuition. I got a small caffeine headache. I think I need to get off caffeine. Either that or feed it, so. It's four, five, five in the morning. Robert, I met Robert on Bumble. I know he thinks I'm crazy because I fell asleep like at seven, guys. He's like, what you doing? Wake up. 
I mean, what you doing? Are you up? How was work? Robert, I was knocked the F out. Fell asleep. Woke up like at three or four as usual. I'm not cray cray. I'm just sleep sleep. So, all right, guys. Downstairs, got dressed. And I don't know if you remember last time when I came down and the diplomas of the kids were on the floor. So now Santa Claus is on the floor. Go ahead and make my detox tea. Um, it's like a mixture of teas I do. Focus, tummy teas, uterus tea. So if you're interested in these, here are the pictures. And I'm going to sip on it all day. And then I'm going to um, mix it with a... Um, like a Powerade drink to boost my energy right, as well. To heat the house up before I go to the garage and bring in the jam, I put the Trader Joe's orange chicken in the oven. I'm going to add the sauce, and then Trevor can snack on it throughout the day while I'm at home working. stay back at work, I need to uh, mail out the Price is Right prizes to the winners who won on the show. And they wanted me to wait so it can be um, in this tax year. The process has started. So we're moving to create... The living room jam! Jeff thingy, trampoline, bike. I'm gonna go get the weights next. But can you visualize it? Working out in the living room. Living room workout. Oh, I can get a mirror. I had to grab my camera to make you guys laugh, so I was in here on my phone, whatever, yah yahing. And the damn candle caught on fire. Oh, flames up in the air. Got the window open. Hold on, let me show you. But in that moment, guys, I was in, was in such zen or preoccupied. I didn't even panic. I put it out calmly. I just grabbed a towel. But, oh my gosh. <sighs> Talk about being in a moment. Okay. So, again, the reason why it's funny to me is because I am working on feeling sensual, sexual again. I feel like if you don't practice, you don't. You, I'm not going to say you lose it, but I sometimes don't remember it. And I was a very sexual, central, loving, feeling, giving, receiving type of person, right? So I've been trying to get back balanced and centered and all five senses working for me. So I was working on that and then the fire went up and I'm like, oh my God, is that a sign? I know. Again, the yaya -ya crazies, but it's working for me. I believe. Yeah. And I hope this makes sense and helps someone else also. I live in my masculine. I am a feminine. And I love being feminine. I love being... So the point I was trying to make was that the fire was my confirmation, my wake-up call, my moment of, I got this. 90% of it is believing in myself and 10% is doing so I'm here, and thank you, universe. Thank you, God. Thank you, spirit, garden angels, my grandmother, my son, for watching over me, taking care of me, getting me back to where I need to be. 